One indicator just said that we are now in the official definition of a technical recession. What does that mean for you as a creator and how you can actually ride out the next few years if we do enter a deep recession? Let's talk about that today and what you can do to prepare for it. Hi, everybody. My name is Zach Buskin. I'm a content creator and person who covers the streaming space and, and creators. And one of the things that I'm really interested in is the economy and how it might impact creators. If you enjoy this kind of content, guys, make sure you click like and subscribe. Uh, also, leave a comment down below because I think there's going to be a really uh, interesting discussion to have around this. Now, keep in mind, I'm not an economist, so uh, I cannot predict the future in terms of what is going to happen in the economy. But indicators are starting to look a little bit more bearish. And in fact, one indicator just the other day came out to suggest that we are now in a technical recession. This is the Atlanta Fed, which uh, is not an official calculation, but uh, they do have a pretty good reputation as being uh, accurate, said that we are now for the second quarter in a recession. In a recession, the technical definition of recession is two quarters where the GDP is negative. Uh, and here's Forbes talking about that. Are we already in a recession? Yes, according to the Fed indicator with an excellent track record and basically talking about this GDP now uh, forecast. Again, not an official number, but it is a number worth noting. I had tweeted this out back on June 15th. Uh, there has never been an economic downturn in the influencer creator era, 2009 till today. Obviously, everybody knows the 2008 economic crisis. Uh, uh, I, I think everybody does. Uh, so what will the impact of one be on creators? Now, we are in a really interesting situation globally in terms of the impacts of the pandemic and what they have had on the economy in terms of uh, a record amount of money printing. In fact, 80% uh, of US dollars were created since the pandemic began. And that's not unique to the United States, by the way. Countries around the world, Australia, uh, the Eurozone, Japan, Canada, they have all been very, very active in creating additional money in order to not allow the supply to complete, uh, sorry, not the supply, the liquidity completely dry up and allow things to continue functioning as a normal society, uh, which is why we are seeing massive inflation. Anybody who's gone to the store recently probably has been shocked by the prices of things, particularly food. Um, now, I know that there's a meme going around that uh, everybody says, thank you, Biden, or, or thanks, Biden, for this kind of uh, uh, inflation. But this is a global issue. In fact, uh, Russia's uh, 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 current uh, inflation rate is 17%, Spain 10%, the UK 9.1%, Canada 77 the euro uh, area 86 Italy 8%, Germany 76 this is just a global issue. The only country that doesn't seem to be having any kind of inflation is in fact China which is kind of intriguing. Now, other things that have obviously caused uh, an economic impact are the supply chain issues, China's lockdowns that occurred. Uh, uh, we have uh, issues of, of employees actually wanting to be paid a fair wage for the work that they do. Uh, so, uh, all kinds of issues. The, the, the issues are ongoing and, and, and continue to be a problem. And we're still in a pandemic where people are getting sick into hospital and dying. So... The, the reality is we are in a very, very unique situation, uh, rather precarious, all things considered, in terms of the global order. And, and, and that's not even me mentioning a war that is currently occurring in Europe. I could probably make an entire hour-long video talking about all the various economic issues uh, and how they play into various supply chains and such. I'm not going to do that because I think that would bore you guys a little bit too much. So let's talk about the creator economy because that's what we're here for today. That's why I presume a lot of you are watching is you are content creators yourself or you're interested in this space and you want to know what happens next. Well, we're actually already seeing the impact of what could happen at a much larger scale in an economic downturn. Uh, here is uh, Hunter who shared sources. Over 20 people have been laid off from TSM today. Her have heard it partially could be related to TSM's failed crypto investment strategy. Obviously, in a recession or in a economic downturn, the riskier assets, the riskier businesses, things like Tesla, things like Netflix, all these kind of riskier tech businesses, they're the ones who get hit hardest and first, but ultimately ends up impacting the entire economy overall. Uh, this is Watcher Guru saying, Justin, Coinbase has lowered payouts to 
social influencers due to market conditions. Again, the canary in the coal mine. Cryptocurrency being very speculative, being very risky, being one of the first to actually experience significant uh, drawdowns. Uh, we actually have an entire website here dedicated to layoffs. And uh, just so far in 2022, 300 startups have laid off 46,000 people just so far. Just so far. And I think as creators, one of the things that we can best look at, because again, as I said, we have never been in a situation where the economy has had a downturn as the content creation sphere has exploded. There's YouTubers, there's TikTokers, there's there's Instagrammers. We have all these different things. They've never, we've never experienced an economic downturn. So I think it's important to kind of look at uh, uh, places like Netflix or Disney, which are actually actively. Uh, kind of cutting costs. They're tightening their belts already to try to weather a storm, an economic storm that may be coming. Had this post by Miguel Lozada of uh, his partnerships at Elgato saying, creators, influencers, PSA, I've personally have had four of six quarter three, quarter four paid activations canceled last week. Doesn't mean panic, but time to start making sure you are prepared for a possible rough patch. Time to start thinking and planning now versus later. And finally, here is uh, Knight.co. They are a, a talent representative uh, or a talent management company for our, some creators that uh, I'm sure a lot of people know here. You're going to see a lot of recognizable names and faces. Uh, they recently sent out an email to their content creators saying, Knight Creators, this is the note on the state of the economy how we think it'll impact you as a creator, and how we suggest you navigate these choppy waters to come out stronger on the other side. First, some context on what's going on. For several reasons, supply chain issues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Things were a lot more expensive. Inflation hit 8.5%. It has since gone up. Uh, the stock market is down. Ads, your core revenue stream will take a hit. And they actually have some suggestions here. Plan for less volume. Ad spend globally across creator platforms will contract as marketers tighten their budgets. Plan for a 15 to 20% compression in RPMs. That is uh, a, a rate that you get paid on YouTube. Uh, for the next 24 months, a 15 to 20% drawdown in your ad revenue for 24 months. On the brand deal side, we strongly suggest you hold rate cards even, which means do not devalue yourself. And again, these are speaking to their top creators. Uh, defend your value in the market. Your value to brands has not gone down. In fact, you can argue given the changes in the ad world, your reach and authentic fan engagement has become more valuable. That said, you should plan to see 20 to 30% fewer opportunities. Consider cash now. Consider other monetization opportunities. Make firm financial plans. Be prepared with rainy day funds and be conscientious of hard times. I have a little slideshow here that I'm just going to uh, give to you guys to kind of hit the bullet points on what you need to do in order to survive a recession. Again, we don't know for sure what's going to happen, but we can kind of predict based upon previous uh, uh, recessions. Uh, I looked a lot at the 2008 recession and how it impacted small businesses to kind of extrapolate what could happen to creators in a recession that occurs in 2022 to 2024. Uh, and here are my suggestions to you. Number one. Hold cash in hand now. Don't invest in risky things. Obviously, do not go out there and purchase Dogecoin, expecting to do it, it to hit a dollar. Uh, holding cash. Cash is king. You're going to want to cut your costs as much as possible. If you've been meaning to cancel Disney Plus or Netflix for a while, but you simply haven't done it, now's the time to do it. Save a few bucks here and there. Build up your savings. Uh, uh, again, it, don't go out and spend a lot on things that you don't actually need. It's time to hold cash and wait for opportunities to buy later on once prices are down or the economy is starting to recover. And lastly, create a budget. Don't just live your life without a budget. You absolutely have to have a plan on how you're going to spend your money and where you're going to spend your money. Two, diversify now, otherwise you'll be forced to later. And that'll be a lot harder to adjust to later on. Uh, things like Fiverr, Etsy, Merch Store, Patreon, OnlyFans, Fan House, all these different opportunities to actually diversify your income now are so 
crucial. I've been screaming about this for probably two years now, no, longer than that, three, four years, uh, that, that too many, uh, particularly streamers, live streamers, are too reliant on a single point of failure in terms of all of their income, and that is streaming. One of the most direct and easy, important ones is YouTube. And I think there's actually going to be long tail benefits to having a YouTube channel that will be particularly important uh, in the future. We'll talk about that more in a second here, but uh, keep that in mind. I believe that a YouTube channel is going to be particularly important. Uh, what we might actually see, or what we'll probably continue to see, or the, the steps in which we'll see them, are marketing cuts and layoffs. Marketing, PR, influencer marketing roles will likely see layoffs. We're already starting to see that. Uh, we've already seen some businesses that have cut. We've already heard stories of, of people being let go without any warning. Terrible stories. You never want to hear people losing their jobs. But I think we might see this a lot more if the economy goes into a deeper recession. Uh, in line with that, if there is not layoffs, and maybe it's in tandem with that, there's going to be cuts to marketing campaigns. Uh, uh, so anytime that you're reached out to buy a brand and they say, hey, we have a budget to spend, expect that to happen a lot less. We saw that night email that said a 20 to 30% reduction in overall influencer marketing campaigns. It's important to note that that was, again, speaking to top creators, Mr. Beast, Hassan Abi, all these kind of giant creators that are probably going to weather the storm no problem. They're not necessarily worried about cash. Uh, as a smaller creator, you absolutely have to recognize that the, the impact is going to be much more significant on smaller creators than it is on big ones. Next, and this is going to be the toughest one that I think you're going to have to deal with as a creator, community layoffs. Uh, people within your community, people who have been longtime supporters of your channel, subscribers, mods, VIPs, etc., uh, will likely also, some of them may experience a layoff themselves. That is going to be a particularly difficult time for a lot of people. They are going to have to cut back on subscriptions to your channel. Maybe that means less bits, less donations, less tips, less purchasing games, less things from your throne wish list, etc. Uh, and it's going to be important for you, A, to recognize that that's a reality of an economic recession, uh, uh, that they won't be able to support you the same way that they did when times were good. Uh, keep that in mind now, because that's going to be a tough one, I think, for a lot of people to to manage. That, like, you know, a, a big whale supporter no longer is uh, is able to support as much as they once did, or just regular people who subscribe five dollars a month no longer being able to. Do n be very careful, because I think that again, we have not seen an economic recession, but I think that a lot of people are going to have some weird, hurt feelings surrounded uh, around this. Um, this is going to be a particularly interesting one in terms of the 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 the, the social dynamics of uh, of a community. This is where I think that YouTube has a, uh, a a long tail benefit to creators because people during recessions seek out ways to consume content for free. We may see an increase in views on YouTube and Twitch and any other kind of uh, 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 TikTok, et cetera, as people don't go out to get entertainment, they stay home and watch things instead. They will be spending less. Again, that relates to community support. And because marketers have to trim their budgets, their ad rates will go down as well. So what does that mean for you as a content creator? Well, we'll probably see a lagged effect where your YouTube channel may go, for, let's just go for an example of if you had a thousand views before and you were making $7 per thousand views, you may now at, at, at uh, a year into a recession, maybe getting 3,000 views, but you're only getting $3 per thousand. So your total amount gained is $9. Uh, instead of seven for three times as many views. The long tail effect of that, though, is that will continue to build upon when times start to get good again. When we exit a recession, we're back into growth, uh, you'll have the benefit of now having a channel that has grown significantly during an economic downturn that can now thrive in, in an upswing.
Recession-proof sponsorships are something that people should be considering and looking at right now. There's a lot of recession-proof industries that uh, throughout history of recessions have not experienced a, as significant a drawdown as others. Things like makeup, food, uh, clothing, any kind of, of, of commodity, those kind of things that, uh, that are not an elastic demand that people always need to have, those are the kind of companies that you should be looking at if you are trying to lock down a sponsorship. Uh, they're the ones who are going to continue to have demand for their product, which means they do have continued demand in order to get their product in front of people. Uh, it, in 2008, one of the uh, uh, one of the interesting things that occurred from 2008 is coffee had a had an absolute explosion in terms of at home coffee makers, Tassimos, Keurigs, etc. Uh, and the second one that was particularly interesting to me was Monster Energy Drink. Evidently, through the through uh, the 2008 recession, Monster was one of the things that actually thrived during 2008's uh, economic crisis. So look for recession-proof sponsorships, uh, companies that are recession-proof, and try to work with them. Think about how you would market their products now on your stream if you're going to take a brand deal with them. And lastly, it's important to recognize that recessions do not last forever. Uh, the average recession, I believe, over the last 120 years has been about 15 months. Some of those have obviously been shorter technical recessions rather than true recessions. Or, uh, but generally speaking, the belief is, is that a recession lasts between 18 to 24 months. If we are currently at the two, uh, sorry, at the six-month mark, that means that we potentially still have an entire year or a year and a half ahead of us with uh, on a uh, with an ongoing recession that we're going to have to live through. Um, it could be longer. Again, as I mentioned before, this is the typical time frame. It could be longer because there's a lot of factors that have not existed in previous recessions, particularly related to a pandemic, war, uh, supply chain issues, lockdowns, money printing. There's a whole bunch of different effects that may actually make this a deeper, longer recession. We don't know. I can't predict the future. I wish I could, because if I could, uh, I'd be making better bets right now. Uh, but alas, we can't. Just know that recessions don't last forever. If you thrive or at least survive as a content creator uh, through a recession and, and uh, you do not have to uh, uh, quit, a lot of people will, then you set yourself up for an absolutely fantastic explosion uh, in terms of your popularity, in terms of income after recession ends and as we go back into an economic growth period. So that's my talk. Uh, I hope it was helpful to you. Again, I cannot predict the future. I hope that 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 we don't enter a long, deep recession. But uh, but based upon a lot of the indicators that are out there, it doesn't look like that optimism is going to uh, uh, be uh, fulfilled. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's anything that you might I might be able to help you with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Uh, watch your dollars, and I'll see you in the next one.